ChatGPT is completely changing the world of content creation. So I'm gonna show you how to use it so you can stay ahead instead of falling behind everybody else that's using it. Because if you're a content creator, ChatGPT can help you in a lot of different ways, regardless if you're a live streamer or if you're making video content, it can help you a ton. I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I've been using it for, and maybe that can help inspire some ideas or just kind of show you what's possible because it's pretty mind blowing what you can do with it. First, we're gonna go through a couple of common uses in case this is your first time seeing this in action and then we're gonna move into the mind-blowing stuff. Starting with content topics. So when it comes to content topics, as a content creator, we have to always come up with content ideas in order to keep producing content on a regular basis and in order to keep things from getting stale for the people that are interacting with our content. For this, all you have to do is log into ChatGPT, tell it the type of content that you make, and then ask it to give you 20 different video ideas for that topic. Just like most of the things that we're gonna be talking about, the more detail that you can give it, the better results it's going to give you. Next, it can help you write titles. So I've been making content for nine years, so I've written lots and lots of titles, so I'm pretty good at it, but I will still drop titles into ChatGPT and have it give me options so that I can look for maybe stronger words or maybe better phrasing to express an idea that I'm trying to get across. For this, grab the title of your video or live stream, drop it into ChatGPT and tell it to give you 20 options for that title. For this, you can use the exact titles that it gives you, or you can say, ah, you know what, I like this word here, so let me use that instead of the word that I was using. Now let's get into some more fun things that can really make an impact. The next thing you can use it for is to come up with show themes. Now this is really cool because if you are doing live streams on a regular basis, it's always helpful to put a show together and also to put together some type of consistent structure with that show as well. ChatGPT can help you do this. All you have to do is go into ChatGPT, tell it exactly what type of content it is that you make, and maybe give it some ideas of what it is that you might think is good. And then from there, tell it to give you some show ideas or some show themes, and then it will do the rest for you. You might like all of the ideas or you might just like some of them, but either way it goes, it might inspire some ideas that you might not have thought of that might help you have a much better stream and add a lot more value to the people that are interacting with it. The next thing you can use ChatGPT for in your live streams is if you're the type of streamer that has guests on and you do interviews a lot, one of the things that you can ask it is you can ask it to to give you ideas for questions to ask your guest. For this, all you need to do is ask it what questions you should ask your live stream guest and then give some information about that guest to give it a lead. And then from there, you can pick and choose based on what you think is best for the guest that's coming onto your show. These are pretty cool, right? You're gonna love this next one. It's checklists. So let's say that you are live streaming onto YouTube and you're like, hey, I want a checklist of all of the things that I need to do for my live stream. Well, you can tell it to give you a checklist of all the things that you need to do to live stream on YouTube and it will give you a checklist. All you have to do here is just tell ChatGPT to give you a checklist for whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. If you're live streaming, if you're putting video content together, if it's trying to figure out the structure of how the process works for inviting a guest on your show, anything like that, it'll give you checklists for it. Next is monetization ideas. So one of the things about being a content creator is that you can make money as a content creator, but you need to know how to make money and all the different ways that you can make money as a content creator and ChatGPT can help you with all of that. For this one, all you have to do is let ChatGPT know the type of content that you're putting out so it can design everything around that. And then you tell it the type of value that you provide through your content. From there, it's gonna give you a bunch of different ways that you can monetize your content. And then if there are very specific things that are of interest to you, then you can just ask it to give you a lot more detail on those specific elements. ChatGPT is gonna have you rich in no time. No, I'm just kidding. Next is content strategy. So when it comes to content strategy, if you're new to making content, you might not even know what content content strategy is. And if you're experienced, you know all the work and time and effort that goes into putting in a good content strategy. Well, all of that's changing. For this, all you have to do is tell ChatGPT the type of content that you make, how often you upload, the target audience that you're serving, your goals and the goals that you have for your audience, and how long you want the strategy to span for. From there, ChatGPT is gonna to put together a content strategy for you that you can just roll with if you think it's a good fit for what you're trying to do, or you can copy and paste it out, make any modifications that you want to in order to best suit your needs. Oh, and by the way, if you're getting value out of this, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, because we've got a lot more content like this coming. Next is creating hooks or intros for your content. So when it comes to the hooks or the intros of your content, they are extremely important because those determine if a viewer is going to continue watching or not based 
based on the expectations that they have when they come into the content. ChatGPT can help you nail it. In fact, this video that you're watching right now, I wrote the intro with ChatGPT. So what I did is I told ChatGPT to give me 10 intros for the video, and then I picked one of them that I thought was good, and then I made some modifications to it based on my experience writing hooks for videos, and that's what you got when you first started this video. And if you've made it this far in the video, you can see how effective ChatGPT can be. But in addition to just the general prompting you can do in ChatGPT, they also have a bunch of plugins and tools that you can use for it. I'm using one called Creative Fuel. With Creative Fuel, it connects to your YouTube channel and it actually learns about your audience and your content and all that. And you can ask it questions directly against your YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. But there's tons of really helpful tools like that with ChatGPT. We're gonna be talking about even more of those in the future. But in the meantime, if you are a content creator and you're live streaming to YouTube and you're trying to get the best results you possibly can, click into this playlist right here. It's filled with a bunch of tips that are gonna help you out. Go ahead and click into that now and I'll see you over in the next video. Thanks for watching.